At Sophos, we know the solution to complexity is not to add more complexity. That's why we focus on building real tools that are usable by everyone. Our network security products allow you to do many powerful things to take control of your entire network. The entire system can be overviewed and observed in just a few seconds by glancing through our configurable dashboard. This shows us a great snapshot of the day. All the activity, the bandwidth being used, the resource usage, and pretty much an entire snapshot of exactly what's happening in my network. I can configure all of the information that I see here by clicking on the gear in the top right corner. This allows me to select exactly what I want to see, change the order that I see them, and even remove things that I don't find relevant. When I'm happy with the way that my dashboard looks, I can then dive into our licensing and see which of our features I want to deploy to protect my network. Right here from licensing, we can choose network protection, email protection, control how our users spend their time online and which applications they're allowed to use, protect our web servers, control all of our wireless connectivity, and hook up branch offices. Each just requires a separate subscription or choose all of them using one of our very popular bundles. Once I've got my desired protections in place, configuring our product is extremely easy. The entire system is built around an object interface. That means I can apply real-world terms to network objects and then reuse them throughout the entire configuration. Right here under Definitions and Users is where I can apply real terms to actual resources. If I have a mail server, for example, I just click on New Network Definition, type in a name, such as Mail Server. I can then click on Host, and I know the address of our company mail server is 192.168.55.11. I can also give it a comment so that later I can remember exactly what this is. When I hit Save, I'm then left with an object. I can find it now because I have a few objects in this system by looking for mail. And you can see that we have a few mail servers, and here's the one that I just added called Mail Server. This now is something that I can use throughout the entire configuration. I can use it in firewall rules, I can delete it, I can edit it, and I can actually work with all of the places that use this term right here on this screen. I do not have to look through the rest of the configuration and find places where I need to make edits if I want to change something around the mail server. The entire system is also built around service definitions, user definitions, and other types of things that you can set once and reuse many times. You can also come back to these central areas, like this one here for the services, and overview them, search them, group them, and do other very powerful things. It's all right here in front of you, and all located in definitions and users. This builds the basic foundation that we'll build the rest of the security policy on throughout the rest of the product.